as opposed to the lies being propagated by some members of the party, we have received over 100 applications from over 100 members of the National Resistance Movement in response to the call for expression of interest to lead in the selected committees of parliament and these are uh, sectoral committees. The due processes as guided by the rules of procedure of the NRM Parliamentary Caucus and the constitution of NRM are on. We are now on the left with one step, that is the approval of the Central Executive Committee of NRM. Once that is done, then we shall now proceed to the floor and designate the 13 vacant positions in terms of chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of uh, parliamentary sectoral committees that are headed by the NRM. When the Central Executive Committee of NRM deferred the approval of the 13 uh, leaders, they were not deferred because they had allegations of corruption on them. They were deferred because in 2021, before personally I was the government chief whip, the Central Executive Committee had resolved that for members of NRM serving on sectoral committees, they should only serve for a maximum of two terms. And two terms are two years. Now, for the 13 leaders who were affected, all of them had either served for two or more years, implying they had hit the mark that was resolved by the NRM Central Executive Committee. Now, this was done because the NRM, as you know, is a mass party. The NRM has the majority in parliament. Members of the Central Executive Committee thought it wise in 2021 that the leadership be rotational such that it gives an opportunity to as many members of the NRM to have an opportunity to be leaders. So there was nothing to do with corruption. As far as corruption cases and allegations are concerned, you are already aware that um, those who have cases to answer on a case-by-case -case basis are already uh, being uh, taken on, and you are aware that five arrests have so far been made, and they have all been produced and charged in the courts of law of the Republic of Uganda. There are members who have been leaders in other committees, probably in the 10th, in the 9th, in the 8th parliament they have applied, and in my opinion they are eligible. There are also members who served the two terms as resolved by SEC in 2021 who have applied. In my humble opinion, they may not be eligible because they would have already served the two terms that SEC resolved in 2021. But those who served in the 10th, in the 9th, and in the 11th parliament, and who have not yet hit the mark of two terms under sectoral committees who have applied, definitely they are eligible. But those who had already served two terms after the 2021 resolution of SEC who have applied may not be eligible in my opinion. So yes, they have applied.